Good morning. Good morning. I don't know if you've noticed, but we're doing things a little differently this morning. Just in case. Now, we're going to take some time to find out a little bit more about what's going on with the rebuild and and also, but also still meet together um, for worship this morning. There are announcements on your bulletin. Also want to remind you that there's a, there's a couple QR codes on here for giving. Um, you can also check in online. And one thing I want to bring a little attention to you is that we are planning on doing the fall retreat October 8th through 11th up at Bersheba Springs and I owe everyone a little bit more information about it but we really want it to be a time to really rest and connect it's been a it's been a long long season so uh, watch for more information coming out about that and let us prepare our hearts and minds for worship Please rise in body and spirit and join me in the call to worship. Come, give thanks to the Lord with all your heart and soul. We come rejoicing over God's many blessings poured out on us. God's works are great. We delight in learning about them. Respect for God and all that God offers to us is the beginning of wisdom. Amen. I invite you to join with us in singing our hymn, Welcome, which is printed in your bulletin.
to us in, the, in 1 Peter chapter 2, verses 4 through 6. Listen to these words for us today. Come to him, a living stone, though rejected by mortals, yet chosen and precious in God's sight. And like living stones, let yourselves be built into a spiritual house to be a holy priesthood, to offer spiritual sacrifices acceptable to God through Jesus Christ. For it stands in Scripture, See, I am laying in Zion a stone, a cornerstone, chosen and precious, and whoever believes in him will not be put to shame. This is the word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God.
Good morning. Uh, we're going to move into our time of prayer together. Uh, so with that, I'd like to open up an opportunity for anyone who'd like to share any joys uh, or any concerns uh, that we want to lift up among our community today. Helen. Your grandma's coming in September, so prayers of gratitude for visits from, from relatives. Prayer for the people of Afghanistan. Yes. And Lucy White and her continued recovery. Prayers for Lucy White and her continued recovery. I'll add also the people of Haiti who are uh, suffering from uh, devastating effects of an earthquake. Yes. Uh, my husband is having his kidney out on the 25th, and I pray that he may go have surgery at the hospital in so for a successful surgery and also just the possibility of having surgery with all of the um, strain put on our medical system due to the spread of COVID. A uh, beloved colleague of mine in Missouri passed away this week and I'd like prayers for her family, Jan Bond. Prayers for the family and loved ones of, of Jan Bond who passed away this week in Missouri. Today is my wife and I's 51st anniversary. Oh. I didn't get Shelly's party. Years old. <laughs> 51st anniversary for Jim and Joy Rich. It's wonderful. All right, let's pray together. God, we thank you for this morning on which we were able to gather together in your name. We uh, pray that you bless our time together so that we may better, through knowing each other, better know you and better know Jesus Christ so that we may uh, grow a love of you and our neighbor and walk through this world more in the way of Christ. God, we pray your special blessing on those who have been named uh, in our concerns and in our joys today. And we thank you for your presence in all of our concerns and joys, both the ones that we shared aloud and the ones that we hold silently in our hearts. And God, we pray all these things in thanksgiving for Jesus Christ, who taught us to pray, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. So we're now going to move into our building project town hall portion. Um, one thing I want to say for uh, people who are watching this online is unfortunately we're not able to share this presentation electronically, at least for the next couple of weeks. Uh, so uh, we're going to be ending the recorded version of the service at this point. Uh, and hopefully be able to share it in a few weeks. But in the meantime, if you are somebody who's doing this from home, uh, I, we really want to share all this information with as many people in the church as possible. So please feel free to reach out to me, and if we can set the time to go over some of this stuff. My email address is scott, S-C-O-T-T, -T, at eastendumc.org. So with that, we'll get going on our presentation, and I'll invite the chair of our building committee, Daniel Foster, to come up.